You guys have any questions on chapter 7? Those who read it? It's pretty easy. I mean, chapter 7 and chapter 8 are, are really easy. Most of it is a refresher for many of you. It's because it's going over uh, uh, stuff that may have been covered in the, uh, if you took the uh, ITA 2201 information systems course, all that. Are we doing anything important on the tonight? That is the exam 3. And that's the news day of the exam. I'm not going to be here. Yeah, I'm here. So chapter 8 pretty much covers a lot of different stuff like big data, BI tools, things that I saw. Like I said, this is a refresher for me. Okay? So everyone knows what big data is. You've heard about it before. It's not a new concept for anyone in this room. At least I hope, right? It's using enterprise information systems. It is. It is primarily using enterprise information systems. And, and uh, you know, just as you guys can see on here on the deck here, it's just basically collecting information from the web, right? Primarily social media. Um, and primarily used by marketing and sales to get an idea of what consumers are thinking, doing, buying, etc. Right? All those things. So from the data architecture world, what you have in the, for big data concern, you have this, this nice diagram here. It shows you on the left hand side here are pretty much all the different systems, like social media, and networks, locations, you know, different customer uh, systems, uh, could be Salesforce, could be billing, could be billing from SAP, and then you have you know these different layers, right? And as you can see, you have uh, a database layer as well uh, towards the end, as well as BI tools. As well as, as well as things like NoSQL. Okay, so this is more trending now. You guys are going to get into the database or DBA. Um, definitely look into NoSQL. Um, look into some of the BI tools. Hadoop. You guys uh, come across Hadoop or experience anything with Hadoop? Definitely a, another technology to be familiar with. So this is pretty much what you will be seeing if you are dealing with big data in the architecture today. And like I mentioned before with NoSQL, uh, you know, growing movement to do NoSQL. I know this class gave you some exposure to SQL, and the next course, if you take the database course, two course, you definitely going to do a lot of SQL. But really, the trend has gone to NoSQL. Um, it's a lot more flexibility and being able to do things without even have to worry about doing the SQL store procedures uh, every time. You just um, use a different layer of uh, creating that, the tables and things of that sort. So uh, some of the, the systems, like MongoDB, CouchDB, it's a very interesting um, name here, Apache, HBase, Cassandra, you guys are looking at that. So there's uh, also programs out there um, for graphing, the Allograph, Titan, Neo4j, there are some things out here if you guys are into playing with NoSQL, you want to get a little uh, heads up on that. So what's the purpose of all this? Is this really for the you know, the business intelligence and BI? And even this is important for the business side. The business side is doing reporting from the BI tools uh, to get forecasting, to understand when they do the analysis and planning control. Uh, different assessments of the systems, what's good, where we, where we need to put more money into things, that sort. 
So BI is important, you guys. Uh, and there's tons of certifications out there if you guys are interested from different providers and vendors who offer um, either data analysis or BI sort of tools in that particular area. So, so here's some of the characteristics and benefits of, of, of BI. Right? You have increased efficiency, sustainable growth over time in the system. All of these cloud systems are in the cloud. Increased costs, better performance, and etc. And I should say this is a very quick chapter because I said seven and eight are fairly, so we'll, we'll be done here quickly. Uh, you, guys, you guys already know this because one of you either taking the Java class or you already know how to program the Java. Oh, Python or C Sharp or whatever other program. Okay. D. So, virtualization, uh, very easy. I don't know if uh, you have any needs for the networking classes here. Uh, or we've mostly done it, but uh, you should get very familiar with virtualization of hardware. Essentially, you can take your own PC, download a virtual um, you know, software on it, and um, put all kinds of different programs on it. So I'm sure you guys must have known what that are already different type of OS. So you can run in Linux, you can run Windows, um, you can run all kinds of different OSs all in one box on your machine, and you have a server on one, you want to have a regular personal PC on another, as long as you have your host machines able to handle it. And um, another thing here, this is going over and talking about cloud computing. A great example of cloud computing, you guys are already doing some of this, but in the enterprise, what you see here is a growing number of cloud applications being used. Uh, Slack is really huge. It is surprisingly, over in the past five years, it's pretty much grown. Skype, Skype for Business, um, Skype for Business is not even up there, believe it or not. Uh, was taking, you know, taking over as far as this messaging, the Slack has become very popular. Uh, you have Sumo, the Rackspace, companies are using Rackspace as a, a hosting provider. You get a dedicated server to Rackspace. You have things like Join Me, uh, which is a web conferencing tool, live chat, uh, integration with your website to provide live chat capabilities. And you name it. So all these different ones, are, and there's more. There's tons more, and constantly changing. So, uh, become familiar with the cloud computing as you guys are reviewing for your exam, um, and understanding the difference. Cloud services. So you have software as a service. You have platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service. Okay. Knowing the difference between these. Definitely. All right, any questions? All right, very easy stuff. Like I said, this is going to be a review for many of you. All right, you want to take a picture of that? There you go. So, um, like I said, very quickly, last week I talked about this. So, here is pretty much what we're going to do next week. We're going to review for 7 and 8. I'll give you guys some sample questions. You look over, um, see if you get a taste of what will be on the exam, on the last exam, because it will not be a final. And then on the Monday, Monday the 29th, you'll come in and take the exam, and that will be the last day of the class. I've pushed out the final quadrant, so I want to give an opportunity next week to make sure you guys understand for the final this So I'll provide a few examples to show you to make sure that you understand that you should have data in your database, all your tables should be there, et cetera, et cetera, creating a report, creating a form, creating a query. Um, so I'll go over that uh, after the review of the exam, which shouldn't take too long. But I pushed that out to the third just to give you guys a little bit of time so you'll have to that Friday to get it done. And please, if you could, test out your database, try it on another machine. Um, a few of you guys have some issues with that. Um, if you're not able to get around it, um, as far as opening up another machine like your GDC, just give you that error. Uh, you can try recreating it from scratch on the GDC machine and then finish it up on your machine. 
or you know, worst case, do a screenshot of your entire database and zip it up and send it to me. I mean, that may have to be. I hate for you to have to restart over if you've already gone so far, but um, if you can, start over from scratch from another machine and then build from there. Um, if you're too, too far down, then go ahead and try to see what you can do and, and play around with the machine and then send me screenshots or zip up the other screenshots together. Any questions on any of this? All right, that's it. Pretty, really easy. Uh, home stretch for the last couple of weeks. Um, and then next week, if you guys have any other questions on stuff that's pending or um, assignments and things of that sort. If you submitted an assignment um, and ask you for screenshots, just make sure you get that in too. Or any other related assignments. So if you guys haven't did any chapter assignments, you can get those in if you want. They're worth 40 points each, or whatever helps. Um, so you'll have opportunity to get that in towards the end of the semester, which I'm counting March 3rd as a uh, May 3rd, excuse me. <coughs> As the end, because I need to get the grades wrapped up and put in the banner following. All right, let's get rolling. You guys, look, you guys are looking at me like, okay, let's, let's wrap this up so we can go. Uh, hopefully, this is started. Let me get my app out just in case it's not. I just got to know this today, you were talking about cloud computing, uh, Amazon's having their uh, summit in Atlanta, May 2nd. They are. It's a free summit for cloud computing.